What's up, everybody? Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax with the Arizona Fall League hot sheet for weeks one and two. The Arizona Fall League is a six-week developmental league where teams send some of their top prospects in the upper minors. The 2023 season kicked off on October 2nd, and we are here to take a look at the hottest hitters from the first two weeks. I'll be doing a bi-weekly hot sheet for the Arizona Fall League until it ends on November 2nd, so if you enjoy this content, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, before we jump into our top 10, I want to discuss my Let's Talk Wax rank and Juggernaut rank. The Let's Talk Wax rank is my personal ranking of each player based on their possible ceiling. It is subjective and has seven levels with Elite being the highest and six being the lowest. The Juggernaut ranking system is an objective, stat-driven formula I created based on age level, weighted OBA, stolen bases per plate appearance, WRC+, K percentage, and swinging strike percentage. The Juggernaut creates a score for every prospect that played in the minor leagues in 2023 and ranks them numerically from best to worst. I will be applying a Juggernaut rank to each player on this video and you can access my complete Juggernaut database over on my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the video description if you're interested in seeing that. Now without further ado, let's jump into our video. I'll be breaking down my top 10 and about 10 more honorable mentions as well. Please understand that some of these stats are tremendously inflated due to the small sample sizes so far in the Arizona Fall League. We'll kick this off with Carson Williams in the number 10 spot. Over the last two weeks, he hit 324 with two doubles, five RBIs, eight walks, and three stolen bases. The 20-year-old shortstop prospect for the Tampa Bay Rays spent the majority of his 2023 season in high A, but did see some time in double A AA and triple A as well. Across the three levels, he hit 258 with a 239 ISO, showing off quite a bit of power for a young shortstop. Williams' K percentage usually stays right around 30%, but it hasn't slowed his production down as he has the highest juggernaut ranking on this list at number 40. You can find Carson Williams' Bowman Chrome autographs in 2021 Bowman Draft for about $55 right now. Gabriel Rinconis comes in at the number 9 spot on this list after hitting 294 with a home run and 4 doubles over the last 2 weeks. The Phillies outfield prospect has put up fringy numbers between low A and high A during the regular minor league season in 2023, but hopefully a strong showing in the fall league will allow him to begin the 2024 season in double A. Rinconis has a Let's Talk Wax rank of 3.5 and a juggernaut ranking of number 650. You can find his first chrome autographs in 2022 Bowman Draft for around 10 bucks. Damiano Palmegiani is a corner infield prospect for the Toronto Blue Jays and holds the number 8 spot on this list. Palmigiani has some pretty big raw power that he's able to utilize in-game. Over the last two weeks, he's hit two homers and two doubles with six RBIs. He held the second highest ISO on this list at 223 between AA and AAA during the regular season. The downside here is clearly age. Palmigiani will be 24 to begin the 2024 season, which is a bit old to have no major league experience. You can find his cards in 2022 Bowman with his Chrome Autos comping right around a cheap $5 right now. At number 7 is Jace Bowen, a 23-year-old outfield prospect for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He was an 11th round pick in the 2019 draft and throughout his professional career he has always been a little more power over hit. He spent 95% of the regular season in high A, but got a quick taste of double A towards the end of the year. He held a 200 plus ISO with 23 home runs and 26 stolen bases during the regular season. Over the past two weeks in the Arizona Fall League, he's already hit two home runs with five extra base hits and 10 RBIs. He did hit a home run last night after I recorded these stats as well. Bowen is a bit old for high A, so hopefully he will start the 2024 season in double A. The Pirates organization is pitcher heavy, so Bowen could possibly see some MLB time next year as well. Dominic Keegan rounds up the first group of players at number six. He was a fourth round draft pick out of Vanderbilt University in 2022. Since the draft, Keegan has displayed a way above average hit tool, but his age level and position have bounced a lot of hobbyists off the radar. Keegan hit just under 400 over the last two weeks of the Fall League with two home runs and seven RBIs. He ranks in at number 443 on the Juggernaut and his Bowman Chrome Autos can be found in 2022 draft for about five to ten dollars. Now if you guys enjoyed this content and you want to help support the channel be sure to check out my Patreon page. I'll put a link to it in the video description. You get early access to my top 100 Bowman Chrome autographs, my top 100 Bowman Chrome Autos under $50 list, and you also get early access to Team Break 
guides for every release since 2019. I do autograph checklist breakdowns for all releases since 2019 as well. I have a private Discord server and you also get access to the Juggernaut ranking system. And like I said, just some cool perks for people who support the channel. And if you're interested in that, I'll put a link to it in the video description. Now, before we hop into our top five, I've got some honorable mentions here. I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail. If you guys wanna grab a screenshot of these players that might be best suited for you, you can see their juggernaut ranking on the left in gray, and you can see their release over here on the right. Colson Montgomery, Ryan Bliss, Eric Brown, Jacob Berry, Victor Scott, Robert Hassel, very interesting. He's got no extra base hits. He struck out quite a bit, but he is hitting 286, which is a lot better than what he did in the 2023 season. I did make a post in my social media groups about whether they think Robert Hassel can rebound in 2024, and there were mixed feelings there. So Robert Hassel looking to make a comeback possibly in the Arizona Fall League. Harry Ford, Yuner Fernandez, who's kind of come out of nowhere to uh, put up some pretty big numbers in 2023 in the Arizona Fall League as well. Chase DeLauter having a monster year. I think he's going to be one of the future outfielders for the Guardians. Benny Montgomery, Desan Brown, and Christian Franklin, kind of a sneaky guy on there. Now, ice cold, we've got Cameron Cawley, Reggie Crawford, who did not have enough plate appearances in 2023 season to qualify for a juggernaut ranking, and Kala I, Rosario, three guys who are ice cold. They all uh, brought Rosario, had probably one of the better regular seasons of anybody uh, in the ice cold category, did hit for some power this year in double A and in high A, but he's struggling right now in the fall league, two for 32 with 13 Ks. And that's going to bring us to our top five, and Kyle Manzardo had one of the best offensive performances I have ever seen in 2022, but hasn't quite lived up to inflated expectations so far this year. He posted a 200 plus ISO with a sub 20K percentage in AAA in the regular season, but his batting average dropped near, by nearly 100 points from 2022. He's going back to work in the AFL though, hitting three homers, four doubles, and driving in 11 runs over the last two weeks. Manzardo didn't have much consistency this season between his injury and the trade to the Guardians, so hopefully a solid fall league can get him back on track towards his 2022 campaign. You can find Kyle Manzardo first Bowman Chrome Autos in 2021 draft for about $50, and at one point in the 2023 season, or 2022 season, they were around $100, so they are pretty down right now. Peyton Wilson is the oldest player on this list at nearly 24 years old. He's had a great start to the AFL, hitting 344 with two homers, four doubles, seven RBIs, and seven walks. Wilson spent the 2023 season in double A where he hit for some average and held excellent K numbers. His offensive style is geared towards contact with average power at best. I feel like he has an infield platoon ceiling in Kansas City. He doesn't have a Bowman Chrome first autograph, but his first Chrome cards can be found in 2022 Bowman for about a dollar a piece. James Triantos cracked the number three spot after hitting 407 with a home run, three triples, two doubles, eight RBIs, and seven walks. The Cubs' former second round pick has an impressive hit tool that took him all the way to double A in 2023 in the regular season at age 20. Trianos doesn't hit for much power, but he's continued to refine his approach by improving his K numbers as he moves up the ladder. Trianos kind of reminds me of Ignacio Alvarez. They both have limited power, but have an advanced approach and hit tool. Juggernaut only has them around 25 ranks apart, with Trianos at number 59 and Alvarez at number 85. Trianos' first Chrome autographs are found in 2022 Bowman and are redemptions that expire on 3-31-24. So March 31st, 2024, you will no longer be able to redeem Trianos cards. Sterling Thompson was the Colorado Rockies' first round pick in the 2022 draft out of the University of Florida. Thompson has been mashing since the draft and held a list-leading 293 batting average between high A and double A this year. His batting average balls in play took a big hit, which dropped his average quite a bit in double A, but his power and K numbers stayed linear with his numbers in high A. Over the last two weeks, he hit nearly 500 with six extra base hits and 10 walks. 
Thompson is one of the top bats in the Colorado Rockies organization, and he could be knocking on the door as early as 2024. His first Chrome Autos can be found in 2022 Bowman Draft for about $20 right now. Now, I have to admit, I've had my eye on Jacob Marcy for a while now, and I'm not shocked that he's off to a scorching hot start in the Arizona Fall League. In just 10 games, he's hitting 500 with two home runs, seven extra base hits, and four stolen bases. Marcy also had a solid year in the regular season, hitting 274 with 16 homers and 46 stolen bases between high A and double A. While the majority of his plate appearances did occur in high A, his numbers didn't skip a beat after his promotion to double A. Marcy had somewhat of a breakout year in 2023, and he's topping it off with a strong start to the Fall League. He's ranked at number 69 on the juggernaut, but be careful, the hobby isn't very tolerant of players who don't fit the age level mold. That's going to wrap this video up. If you guys want to help support the channel, like I said, I'll put a link to my Patreon page in the video description. Lots of cool exclusive perks over there for you guys that do want to support, and I appreciate everyone who current support, currently supports me over there right now as well. And be sure to check out my website. I just worked on it for about a month straight trying to revamp it. There's lots of cool tools over there. Make sure you hit the scroll down bar on the web browser with the iPhone and check out all of my cool content over there. A huge shout out to all of my Patreon level three sponsors. You guys rock. If you guys enjoy my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. I try to produce a lot of baseball card and prospect talent throughout the course of the entire year. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day.